Hi boys and girls, welcome to Read Aloud. So today we're going to read another section in our Sharks book. And this section is called Food and Hunting. And while I'm reading, I really want you to think about what the author is teaching you and what you're learning in this whole entire section because we're also going to continue working on the main idea and supporting details. We're also going to take a look at how does the photographs connect with the paragraph and the information the author is teaching us. Okay, now let's begin. Some sharks are fierce predators that hunt fish, squid, seals, dolphins, and turtles. These sharks have large mouths lined with sharp triangular teeth. They swallow small animals whole or take a huge or take huge bites out of bigger prey. Wow. So automatically right now the author is teaching me that every shark's tooth is very sharp or shaped like a triangular triangle, sorry. And mostly sharks eat their prey whole. Okay? They take a huge bite out of their prey and just swallow it up. Wow. Very interesting fact. Also, the author is including a lot of information on this page, but it's our job to make sure we read the entire section to learn what the author wants us to know. Now, let's jot down some valid information here, what we're just learning. So, let's jot it down. I'm learning I'm learning that a shark's tooth is used to catch their prey and sharks have large sharp triangular teeth in their mouth. Right? Excellent. So let's put this here. Now let's read the caption underneath this photograph. The sand tiger shark's sharp teeth, so I'm learning that this is a sand tiger shark automatically. Its sharp teeth and powerful jaws are used for catching prey. Wow. Looking closely, I can see how it's shaped like a triangular shape. And it looks pretty sharp. Don't you agree? Yeah. Let's continue reading at the bottom. Here is a text feature that the author has included in it on this page. Let's read it to learn a little bit more about shark's teeth. Shark's teeth. The shape of a shark's teeth depends on what it eats. So every shark's tooth may be similar, but it all depends on what type of prey they eat and that would indicate the shape of their tooth. Sharp, jagged teeth are good for biting and cutting prey. So if they have sharp, jagged teeth like this, they have really good teeth for biting and cutting their prey automatically. Thick, flat teeth are good for crushing shellfish. So sharks with teeth that look like this, they eat a lot of shellfish. And shellfish are like crabs, mussels, oysters, shrimp. Okay, long, smooth, pointed teeth are good for catching slippery fish and squid. Wow, so these teeth are good for catching squid, which are usually slippery, maybe jellyfish, which are usually slippery fish. So these teeth usually grab a hold of slippery um, prey. Very interesting, right? So I'm going to jot what this section just taught me. This section just taught me, now I want you to think about, what did it just teach us? After reading about each one of these three selected teeth, what did the author want us to understand and learn from this section? I'll give you about 20 seconds to think about it. Go.
Alrighty, let's go. So this section just taught me that a shark's tooth is shaped a certain way to show what type of food they eat. Alright, let's continue reading. I'm going to put this right here. Now, not all sharks are deadly hunters. Some, such as basking sharks and megamouths, have huge mouths but tiny teeth. They're called filter feeders. Hmm. They swim along with their mouths wide open, gulping in water and filtering out tiny fish and shrimp. Now, let's read the caption that's right below. The Baskin shark swims with its huge jaws stretched wide. Wow, pretty interesting. So, this shark does not have sharp teeth like this shark over here. It actually has smaller teeth, tiny teeth, right? They catch tiny fish and shrimp with their mouths. Now, after learning all of this information, we've learned that basking sharks and mega mouths, sharks that swim with their mouth open like this, are fil filter feeders. Now, after reading this information, what would be the main idea of this section? What is the main idea that the author wants you as a reader to understand? I'll give you about one minute to do this thinking. Go. All right, give you about 10 more seconds. All right, let's pause. Let's pause to think what is the main idea of this section. The main idea of this section is different sharks have different teeth depending on what they eat. Perfect. So the author showed us that not every shark's teeth is the same, but it all depends on what the shark eats, determines the size of their teeth, the shape of their teeth, the structure of their teeth. For example, some might be, have jagged teeth, some might have flat, thick teeth, right? And it all depends on the type of shark as well. The sand shark here has sharp teeth and powerful jaws used for catching their prey, right? But then the mega mouth or basking shark like here has tiny teeth because it doesn't really eat large prey. It usually filter it's a filter feeder and it has tiny teeth. So they're filtering out tiny fish and shrimp so they probably eat the smaller shellfish under the ocean right all right boys and girls this was a great session thank you for joining in i hope that you were able to learn from what we learned today this valid information the author just taught us and i hope you're keeping this thought in your mind as you continue to develop growing knowledge about a topic and thinking about the main idea all right have a good day boys and girls bye